below in this video, we're going to we're going to double integral and we're going to evaluate the iterated uh, integral. Okay, so uh, we're going to be using a Fubini's theorem and that tells us that it doesn't matter which variable we uh, choose to integrate first. We could uh, choose to integrate y first and hold x constant or we can uh, integrate x first and hold y constant. But uh, on here, we're going to integrate y first and uh, the limits of uh, integration for y are uh, the limits closest to our, our integrand, which is x minus y. Okay, so let's take a look at how to do this integral. Okay, so to uh, integrate this, we're going to hold x constant, and we're just going to use the normal rules of uh, integration. So this x right here is we're going to get an x times y and a minus and integrate y we're going to get y squared over 2 and our limits of integration are y equals 1 and our lower limits of integration are y equals minus 1 times our differential dx. And we are going to put in our limits and we are going to get x minus one half minus minus here minus one half times the differential dx And simplifying this, we're going to get two x times dx, and now we only have one variable. And this is very easy to integrate. And we're going to get x squared, and we could evaluate at limits of integration. The upper is two, and the lower is zero and this is going to equal four so we uh, evaluated this uh, double integral and we used the uh, Fubini's theorem and after we integrated both variables we get four and if we had chose to do x first it's a good exercise in calculus and we should get four and that's uh, how to evaluate this integral.